Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Stone Vault Mythic Plus Dungeon Guide for Season 1 in The War Within. This place is ridiculously hard and it's going to get nerfed, but for now we have to deal with the boss and dungeon mechanics as they are. In the first pack you have to deal with invaders and interrupt their arc void, which is basically a chain lightning. And they're also going to put dots on players in the form of curses, so having a curse dispel here is quite nice. The load bots are going to jump at people who move out of the big brown swirlies. And the golems are going to do a huge frontal that you need to dodge, as well as big AoE unavoidable damage to your whole group. The packs also have void souls that are going to cast howling fear, you have to interrupt that as this is AoE fear. The first boss, Edna, is going to summon spikes around the room, and every time you break one of the spikes, everybody takes AoE damage and then gets a dot as well, which is stacking, so you don't want to break way too many at the same time. The next mechanic targets everybody with a frontal designated by a red arrow, and if you aim it through a spike, it's going to break it, but even if you don't, you're still going to take some damage. The tank buster puts a debuff on the tank, you have to dispel it in order for them to get some extra damage mitigation. The boss also has energy bar, at 100% he's going to cast earth shatter, doing AoE damage and breaking all the spikes that haven't been broken yet. So you have to manage your spikes up to this point in order not to have way too many. After the boss you can go either left or right, on the right hand side there are a few new mobs. The menders are going to cast alloy bolt, interrupt those but always save an interrupt for their healing spell called restoring metals. And beware of the forge warders that have a huge frontal ball that not only does damage but also leaves a dot on you so make sure not to get hit. There are quite a few packs in this area as well as an anvil that you get a buff from if you click it but in order to do so you have to be dwarf, warrior or a blacksmith. The next boss is a duo of forge speakers that do not share health and you have to kill at the same time otherwise they enrage. You have to constantly interrupt the small guy's molten metal and dodge the big guy who's going to cast the same charged orb frontal that we saw during the trash. At some point the small guy jumps to the side of the arena and charges a box to the middle that you need to dodge so make sure to stay on the sides. You also need a ranged interrupt for his cast after that to get him to join back into melee. His next mechanic is called exhaust vents. There's four machinery vents at the edges of the room and he's going to light up in fire three of them. The ones on fire have flames going out of them as well as big fire swirlies on the ground that you need to stay out of. And there's gonna be one safe vent that doesn't have flames, this is where you wanna position yourself. This is important for the next mechanic for which the big guy is going to jump in the middle. He's going to draw another big box there that explodes in a huge circular area and it sends out big lava waves that you want to dodge, with the vents location being the safe area, as the waves always go around them. Those are all the mechanics, they're gonna keep cycling through them, and keep in mind that while the vents are on fire, everybody is taking AoE damage. After you kill the boss, you have to go back to the first area, there is a cart that you can take for a quicker travel, only if you clear the trash to it, in order to clear the other wing and the boss there. In here you're gonna fight some speakers, interrupt their sensory gear cast, as this one does damage but also silences the target. And beware of the big elemental mobs, the howlers are going to cast piercing whale. This one does AoE damage but it also increases the damage taken from subsequent casts so make sure to interrupt it. While the despoilers are going to cast void outbursts doing pulsing AoE damage to everyone in the party for 6 seconds. You have to clear a few more packs, mix of all the mobs we've seen so far in order to get to the next boss. Skarmorak is a nasty piece of business, his crystalline smash is going to summon crystals around the room that do small pulsing AoE damage. You wanna focus and kill them but keep in mind that they explode for a lot of damage once they die, so you don't wanna pop them all at the same time. He's also going to cast unstable crash doing damage around him and summoning black orbs around the room. You want to soak these as they give you a stacking buff, 50% increased healing and 50% more damage to shields. You need that for his next mechanic, Fortified Shell, which puts a huge shield on him, increased for each crystal that you haven't killed up to this point. And while the shield holds, everybody is taking pulsing AoE damage that is increased for each subsequent tick. This is where soaking the black orbs helps as they give you a stacking buff but keep in mind that each stack also does sticking damage to you, so you need to find a good balance of how many orbs you wanna soak. After you burst through the shield he goes back to summoning crystals and everything repeats until you manage to kill him. 
Back to the main area, a hallway opens leading to the last boss. Some of the new mobs here are honor guards, which are going to charge to a location designated by a blue hour. Make sure to not stand on the way. The big rock smashers have a front tail that does damage and knocks you back, so make sure to move to the side. And they're also going to summon big brown swirlies on the ground. Make sure to dodge those as well. Last but not least, the stone shapers are going to summon totems that you need to focus down and kill before their earth burst goes off. If that happens, everybody takes huge AoE damage. And the other thing that you can do is interrupt their stone bolts as they do single target damage. After you clear the packs in the last room, you're at the last boss, Void Speaker A Rich. He's gonna keep casting wide frontal with very long range, so you wanna stay relatively close to make it easier to dodge. The room is going to have two active portals, which are going to kill you if you walk on top of them. However, when he casts Void Corruption, he puts a dot debuff on everyone that takes for more and more damage. The only way to remove it is walk close to a portal, which is going to remove the debuff, consume the portal and open another portal in different location in the room. The rest of the players who still have the debuff need to walk to those portals as quick as possible in order to remove their dots as well. There's one more mechanic, Entrophic Reckoning is going to put circles around everyone, forcing you to spread so you don't blow each other up, and after the circles explode, they leave puddles on the ground that you need to keep dodging. So, dodge the frontals, clear your debuff to a portal as quickly as possible, and drop your puddles to the side. If you manage to do all of that, you're going to kill the boss and finish the dungeon. On to the next one, and the guide for it you can find on this YouTube channel, so make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you there, now get out of here.